In Jeremiah 32, God describes himself as a hiding place from the wind. And here the Bible uses the word hiding place as a place where we can hide when we are suffering, a place where we can never have to be alone. When we're suffering, as we all do, one of the things that makes it bearable is to have someone to suffer with us, someone to be there, someone to share the fact that they actually care. Uh, it's important to have someone like that, even if they can't do anything to fix it, at least they're there to go through it with us. Very often, just having someone there is enough. As God describes this aspect of his care over his children, we're reminded that he not only cares, but he's also in control. He is literally the God of the storms of life. In verse 2 of this chapter, God says that he is that hiding place from the wind. This shows us that there are times when it is God's will for us to face winds that we cannot stand against. Winds that will literally blow us away in those times, whether we act on it or not, whether we trust God or not, He is still our hiding place. This hiding place is not a place just where we experience God's power and ability to give us security from those storms, but is also a place of fellowship indeed. That's the stress of the word. It is a place where we begin to actually learn who God is and what He is like. We actually get to know God better and experience His presence more closely than if there had never been such a storm. As we know Him more, we trust Him more consistently and more completely. Wouldn't it be ridiculous to have such an invitation to safety and fellowship and not accept it? How do we get into that hiding place? Well, first, we trust God to be what the Bible says He is. Then we obey His will. We simply don't quit. And finally, we display a spirit of joy that can, only, that can only come from Him. And the result is we learn of Him. We learn what He is like. We learn what our God is and His relationship to us. Our joy and confidence in life grows stronger and more consistent. The storms of life seem to get smaller and smaller because we're getting stronger and stronger. When the winds of adversity are seeking to blow us backward, let us run to that hiding place, that hiding place from the winds of adversity. As Jesus said, take my yoke upon you and learn of me. When we cannot see God's hand, we must trust God's heart. Let's pray.